Warning, this video contains no fluff, will waste no time, and will show you all the strategies we use to scale our Shays business to six figures. Let's get it. Now, first things first, you gotta know who and what your brand is before you can market it. Because if you don't know, you won't know how and who to market it for. Now, I know that was a lot of who's and a lot of twos, but this is not a video to show you how to come up with your brand message. This is a video to show you once you do how to market it. A brand message for the people that don't know is the story of your brand, what your, what your brand represents. For example, we have friends, Corey and Justin, they have a brand called Support Black College and their mission and their story is bringing awareness to HBCUs, historically black college universities, because they went there and they saw the benefit it gave them. So everything they make or how they market is around that mission and that story of their brand. Now for us, it's all about perspective because me and Rome are positive guys. So we like to look at life from a positive perspective. So you may see this as a negative, but we gonna see it as a positive. You may look at this as chaos. We may look at this as an opportunity. So the same thing when you wear frames, they come with different tints and they make you feel a different way. It changes your perspective. Like when I drive, I wear a red tints because it makes everything pastel and beautiful and it just makes me happy. So everything we make is based around that perspective and that story. And once you have those things, you have to come up with four principles or four categories that you use to make your content from. So for us, it's cool, it's black, it's funny, and it's creative. So everything I make has to at least hit two of those points and principles or it won't get approved. So if I hit four, great. If I hit three, that's good. If I hit two, that's bare minimum. And if you hit all those, you'll see it in the comments. You'll get your validation in the comments. You'll be like, I love your ads. Oh, genius, top tier. People will be laughing. It'll hit one of those categories in the comments and you'll know that you did your job. So let me show you some examples. Yo, Cam. Yo, what's up? You know when I be out of the events, you know what I'm saying, getting to it, getting money, you know how I do, right? I, I guess. I don't be understanding. Been on what shades I'm wearing, people say I look like different types of people. Like what? Like when I'm rocking our clear ports, they say I look like an author. An author? You can't even read. I know, right? I don't get it. Neither can you. I know, right? I don't get it. Wait. No, no, I mean, look, look, but that ain't it. You know when I be out in the VIP sections, events, getting to it, I mean, you know. No. Yeah, I mean, they say when I wear my lemon peppers that I look like Shannon Sharp. Now that's a stretch. Now Skip, that don't make sense now, Skip. Come on now, Skip. I mean, that takes debatable. It's not undisputed. But I mean, when you rock our shades, it's an extension of your personality. So you can be whoever you want to be, whether that's an author, Shannon Sharp, a businessman, or a, a douche. Huh? They say look like a douche. I don't know why they say that, though. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. You do look kind of like a douche. I expect better from you. It's the zipper. Well, whatever, man. Shady side up shades. Now for that first video, how I came up with that idea, one day I saw Rome wearing these shades and I was like, you look like a douche right now. Where <laughs> those shades, where he was sitting, this just looked funny. And it just made me start thinking about the times people said, oh, you look cool in them shades. So this shades make you look like this, or it looks like that. And I was like, hmm, when you wear shades, you really can be who you want to be. And it, that's when the idea sparked for me. So to break it down, the two categories that was used in this video from our four categories was creative and it was funny because I wanted to go back and forth with them with a, a conversation and a dialogue, of course, was funny. But the creative side was switching the characters out each time with the shades, because not only was I doing that to be funny, I was doing that to showcase our shades because I wanted to show them the different styles we got. So. People laugh, people loved it, and it was success. When you're hypnotized by the view of the ocean, what do you see? We see beauty. We see power. We see endless possibilities. But most importantly, we see. Hey, it's a promo about shades. We see ocean views are now back in stock. Man, come pick up these shades and get out of here. Man, this is so dramatic for no reason. And you better not run back across that frame. Shady side up shades. Now for this video, 
I came up with this idea watching a, a music video, and I was like, that's such a dramatic shot. And I started thinking, how can I make a dramatic shot for our shades? And I was like, all right, someone staring at the ocean is so dramatic. How can I make it more dramatic? A slow push in. How can I make it more dramatic? Morgan Freeman type narration. And I was like, all right, now it's cool. That's, you know, it's cool. How can I make this funny? And then I was like, okay, cut to us. <laughs> and, you know, add the, and, and what, what made that funny to cut to us was not only the choreography of our movements, it was the little sound I put in, that cartoon squeaking sound. Before I put that in, it still was funny, but that actually took it up another notch. So we hit on creative and we hit on funny in that video. So two of my categories, success. A lot of my inspiration either comes from music, other content, or Pinterest. Yes, I said Pinterest. Pinterest, what's up? Send me something if you're watching. But I see the world through like an editor's lens, so I'm always constantly coming up with ideas in my head, just living life. But one of my biggest inspirations for content will always be music. So let me show you one of our ideas, and then I'll break it down. The host goes back. this. So I came up with this idea watching a TikTok and a girl had this song that I use in the background. And I was like, what is that? Because it, it instantly connected with me. And as soon as I heard it, I just started just naturally bobbing my head to the side. So I was like, hmm, if I use this, we wear these shades, we could switch out the shades on the snap. If we keep doing the same motion and stay in the same place, it'll be a natural cut to each snap. So I was like, all right, okay. So I did it. And this is what I came up with. And I loved it. Before I'm, I'm done with anything, I'm like, how can I spice this up some more? So then I automatically thought about the Jay-Z meme bobbing his head. And I was like, all right, if I can get him to move with our tempo just slightly, people gonna love this. Cause it's gonna be nostalgic. Cause they forgot about this meme, but it's also gonna make them bop their head too. And they gonna love it but it's also gonna showcase the shades. So it's gonna do everything I want and it's gonna hit my categories. Funny, creative, cool, and black. I touched everything in that video. What's funny, that took us all but 10 minutes to shoot. It took me five minutes to come up with that idea and I was, it was our most successful video. So sometimes you ain't gotta overthink it, keep it simple. A little ideas like that, organic, is great for TikTok, for stories, short form content. And these are the comments. Next, I did a video called A Day in the Life of a Sunglass Brand Owner. Join my morning routine as a six-figure sunglass brand owner. First thing I do is I wake up, because if I don't wake up, it'll be no routine. Then I use the bathroom, brush my teeth, wash my face, because you know what they say, no face, no case. That don't make sense for this. Then I shower, I meditate, then I get a workout in. Boy, look at them hips. Then I practice slapping and kicking someone who just tried me because some people only understand violence. I don't get them. Then I calm down, I read, I make a great green smoothie. Boy, my smoothie's fire. Then I drink it on the porch and wave at anybody who walks by because I'm a nice guy. Hey Cam, hey Shaquan. And then I sit down and I get some work in. But first I take off my sunglasses because who works in sunglasses? That would just be ridiculous now. Come on now, come on, come on, seriously. And that's my morning routine. Shady side up shades. You know, it's a bunch of these videos out on the internet, but I was like, what can I do for my brand? Of course I could do a serious video and really show you the day in my life, but I love comedy. I like, that's gonna, you know, showcase our brand way better than me making a serious video. So I was like, let me do something where I do everything in shades that don't make sense. Just look at the content that's already out there. Like look at another industry and see how you can make that for your brand. So for me, I'll look at something like, hmm, how can I make that for sunglasses? That's what everyone's doing. No one's reinventing the wheel out here. Like we're looking at content, we're tailoring it to our brand and then we're reproducing it. And of course, I'm always for big ideas. I'll never not love big ideas, but a lot of times we're we're thinking so big that we don't even take action. So 
slow it down, think simple, and put out that great content because people love it. All right, now I'm about to give y'all one of the biggest gems if y'all don't know about this, and that's Pinterest. I am a big time pinner, and I've been pinning for years, and I pin every day because it's always something inspirational for me on my Pinterest, the way I have my algorithm working. So the cool thing about Pinterest is it's a big search engine. Anything you wanna see, you type it in and they'll show you results. And the more you like that type of content, the more they'll show you. So if you naturally type in something, let's say sunglasses, for example, you'll see a bunch of sunglasses posts. Now, if I like those and I like these and I like this, if I refresh it, it'll show me more of the same of that type of content. Now, what's also cool, you can make boards where you store all of these things at. And I've been creating boards for years, so my whole life is planned out on here. It's a big curation of everything I love. And I also have a shady side up board where I save my inspiration and it's private, which is also another cool thing. So people don't take your ideas or if you don't want them to see that board, you can make it private. So mine is private, but I always go there to get inspiration. If I'm having a creative block or something, I'm like, oh, that'll be a cool way to shoot this idea. Or, oh, that's a cool angle to use. I get it from my Pinterest. And I'm telling you, there's so much on Pinterest, you got to be on there. Also, you can make a business page, which we did, and I put all my shades on there so other people can see these shades and pin it on their boards and more people see um, their boards that's following them. And what's cool about Pinterest, I can link it to my site so they can click on these shades and it'll take them straight to the shop now page and they can buy. So I'm making conversions. I'm inspiring people. I'm having great exposure. If your brand is not on Pinterest and you got a product, you are losing. You are not winning if you ain't pinning. <laughs> now we got to the scripting and planning section of this video. And for me, I don't care how short or long a video is, I will script it out after I do my outline. And I use a free program called Scenerous to do all my scripting. It's easy to use. It's just like any other scripting program that you're used to. And so you have no excuse not to write a script. Stop playing with people, be professional. This is your brand, take it serious. So here's an example. So this is Scenerous and I'm gonna open up a previous script I did for the Hook Story off for real. And it got everything you would need in a scripting software that Final Draft has, but it's free. After I do the scripts and I'm done scripting out everything, it's time to do a photo deck because any video I do, I also want to take pictures while I'm there because I want to keep a cohesive marketing for it. So after I drop the video, I also want to drop some pictures from that shoot too. So I come up with my photo ideas. I go to my Pinterest. I go online. I take and make a little little mood board. I make a little photo deck and I put it in this program called Pages. If you have a map, it comes with your Mac. It comes with all these different templates that you can choose from. So whatever one you want to use, click it and you can edit it. So here's one example for a photo deck shoot we did. Here we go. So this is Pages and this is the template I decided to modify and it's easy. I wrote down my priorities, my must haves for the shoots. Then I like to put photo inspiration. So photos I may try to mimic or get ideas from and it's free. All right, y'all. So that's the video. Uh, hopefully y'all learned something from this. I dropped a lot of information, a lot of insight on how we market. And hopefully it can help you with your brand. But um, make sure you leave a comment. Let me know how you feel about the video. If, um, if you have more questions, leave it down in the comments. I'll try to type my answers there. And of course, please like and subscribe if you got anything from this. It helps us a lot to grow this channel. We just started this channel so we can help y'all and give out free game for anyone who wants to start a sunglasses business. But if you watching this and got a brand, keep going. If you're watching this and hoping to start a brand, get it started. Use this as your sign and go for it. Because if we can do it, y'all can do it. But as always, make sure y'all get y'all some Shady Side Up Shades. 10% link down in the bio. Any equipment or anything you've seen me using this videos in our Amazon store link in the bio as well. And catch y'all on the next video. Peace.